Greetings Laddingtons, today I'm comparing a black pill, a red pill and a glorious pill. This is meant as a video response to incels and um, also I will make a video called incels and female hypergamy at a later point but I just thought to address this question first and foremost. So I've seen a good few guys saying I don't look good enough to get a girlfriend. And uh, it is not because you don't look good enough, it's because you are not manly enough. That is the black pill. And uh, before I begin also, uh, just a disclaimer. Of course, if you look really good, you will have a much easier time with basically anything in life. So if you look like this, boom, there is a distinct possibility that you will have girls clawing out each other's eyes to get you. Simple as that. And then also, since attraction is so based upon confidence, if you have looked good your entire life, that confidence will obviously be applied in other areas as well. And uh, this is true also if you have been good at sports your entire life. Um, if you're used to winning that sort of confidence that comes from your childhood or youth, that comes with you when it comes to obtaining a fair maiden at a later point as well. So yes, obviously let's all be very clear that if you are beautiful as a man, you will have an easier time with women. Women like beautiful men, no question about that at all. But the thing here is that a lot of incels, they say you have to be an absolute chad to have any chance at all with women. And uh, this is not true. And the thing with incels is that they focus so much on appearance. And the black pill here is that it's not the it's not your looks that are unattractive to females. What is the most the biggest turn off for a female is someone who is socially inept. And this is a black pill for many, but this is just the truth. And if you have a low confidence, a girl can spot that a mile away. And I'm not saying this, I'm not talking about this because I'm some sort of Casanova. I'm talking about this because I am the herald of the primordial truth. And this makes perfect sense if you think about it. So then, if you are an incel and you think, oh, with my looks I will never be able to uh, get a girlfriend. Ask yourself a few other questions first. Are you a valued member of a male tribe? If you're not, okay, start there. If you aren't a esteemed member, if you don't have a lot of other men thinking that you are a respectable member of a certain community. So, for example, if you look at a football firm, a European football firm, or hooligan, or whatever you want to call it, you will have the respect of other people, of other men. And that is good in the eyes of women. Otherwise, if a woman sees a guy who completely stands outside a male group, she has no point of reference. You could be whatever, you could be a complete um, hazard to her. But if she has some points of reference that, okay, 10 other guys who got their things together, you know, they can, they can take care of themselves, they don't back down, they walk with confidence. If they then say, okay, this guy is a valued member of our group, he never backs down, he has... Uh, the backs of his mates and he can um, you know stand up for himself if the woman then has these sort of reference points then obviously she can make a decision much easier so instead of focusing on your looks focus on okay am i an esteemed member of a male community if you're not yeah start there so that is one question you can ask yourself the second question is how strong are you how good are you at fighting how well versed are you in the language of violence and uh, to prove my point here, you can look at any UFC fighter, no matter which uh, weight division they are in. The majority of them have, you know, a um, usually beautiful woman by their side, despite them not being the ultimate pretty boy Chad. Uh, but they at least show that they're on their way somewhere, they have a goal that they're going for, training really hard for that, and they have confidence and they can stand up for themselves. So if you are an incel, compare that with your own lifestyle. Do you have a direct goal that you're working extremely hard towards every single day? Obviously, no woman in her right mind wants a guy who isn't going somewhere, isn't having a firm direction, which is channels his energy. So ask yourself that. Are you well versed in this sort of thing? If you're not, okay, start there. Then it's probably not because you don't look good enough, it's probably because a woman will look at you and say, will this guy be able to defend me and my children? And if she perceives you as being weak, then yeah, of course, it's an easy choice for her. Then next question is, 
do you spend a lot of time online complaining about that women will not love you because of your looks? If that is how you spend your time, then you can't really be surprised that women do not find you as an attractive partner. Obviously, if you spend that time going after some goal of yours, no matter which goal it is, yeah, then she says, okay, this guy at least he has something going for him. If you do not have something going for you, if you spend your time on certain forums complaining about women, yeah, I mean, that's not a particularly attractive um, thing for a woman who most regular normal women, okay, they're severely decreased in the modern age, but still, they will be looking for a stable supplier that can take care of himself, that shows some sort of drive, that shows some sort of thumos. And obviously, if she then looks at someone who sits around complaining all day, uh, yeah, not a good look. And then also, the next point, how jacked are you? And this is no surprise coming from me, but it bears repeating. Anyway, do you look powerful? And I'm not talking about you need to be bodybuilder massive, and I'm not talking about you need to be have shredded abs to attract females. I'm just talking about, do you look powerful? Do you look jacked? Do you look like you could cause damage in a physical altercation? Do you look like you are tough? These sort of things matter. So yet again, I'm not talking about spending all your time in the gym, but uh, spend at least four days in the gym each week, put on some size, you will be more attractive if you portray a more dominant and comfortable aura. So if you put on five or 10 kg of muscle, you will be in a better position. You will not magically attract females, but the aura you present will help you in that. Or if you don't want to go to the gym, take up some sort of martial arts, it will rub off on you. The confidence will rub off on you. Your health and vigor will show true. And uh, if you have that um, goal that you should at least train hard, I'm absolutely certain that females will pick up on that. Health, vigor, strength, martial prowess, um, always good to have. And then also, if you increase the value of um, yourself in the eyes of other men as a brother in the tribe so to speak as a valued male member then you will also be increased in the eyes of women so if you impress men if you try to portray yourself as a good solid shield brother women will have that as reference points to whether you are a good match or not so to give an example you have one guy who is a valued member of whatever male community. It might be a football firm, it might be an MMA team, it might be some sort of mennerbund, uh, a guy who is appreciated because of his virtues among other men. That will create good reference points for the women to look at. And uh, in contrast, you can have a guy without any social setting. The girl doesn't have any reference points to go to, so therefore she might have a harder time deciding. So anyway, to conclude, the uh, teaching here is that it's probably not because of your face and yet again I'm not saying that beauty doesn't matter of course beauty matters a lot a very beautiful Chad male we have a massive advantage when it comes to women but we're talking about the majority of guys and the majority of girls uh, the majority of guys can get a girl if they work on certain aspects and it is not because of your face it's because of the other questions you need to ask yourself where are you in your life? What social standing do you have? Are you an appreciated male individual? Are you someone who has a direction in life? So ask yourself these sort of questions and um, do not fret about your appearance too much. Go to the gym, train some martial arts, cultivate a mennerbund uh, and go about a sacred quest. And then I'm absolutely certain that you will have at least some better opportunities when it comes to the Fair Maidens. And for the love of Talos, do not spend your time complaining about your appearance. You can do something about it, and I suggest that you start immediately. XOXO, boom.